Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to show you how to make this delicious smothered chicken cordon bleu stuffing recipe. It is a really good throw together in your crock pot meal that just cooks low and slow all day or half a day if you're in a hurry. We are going to start off by making that delicious stuffing mixture. Now I am using a six quart crock pot as my slow cooker today. Now you will find this recipe in my second cookbook, Catherine's Plates Making Home Cooking Easy. And if you're following along, it's on page 58. But don't worry, I will go over all of the ingredients the measurements and get you through this whole recipe very easy. All right, let's get started. We're gonna make the delicious stuffing mixture first. This is gonna go on the bottom of the crock pot. So you can certainly put these ingredients in the bottom of your crock pot and then whisk that together. I'm gonna to be using a large mixing bowl to do this. That way y'all can see everything happen. We're gonna start of course, with one box of stovetop stuffing mix. I'm using the cornbread because I just like the flavor of that. Now this box is six ounces. So we're gonna empty that in. That's what it looks like. Mmm, smells like the holidays. <laughs> All right, let's add that. So I already got the seasonings in there. Good flavor in there. We're gonna add one can of cream of celery. Love these crock pots. So the weather's getting warmer and you just wanna throw something into your crock pot. This is a great recipe for that. We're gonna add that to our large bowl. There we go. Now you can add another can of cream of celery if you want, or you can add a cream of chicken, which I'm going to do here. Now both the cans, the cream of celery and the cream of chicken, these are 10.5 ounce size cans each. Now if you want to add a can of cream of mushroom in lieu of one of these, you can certainly do that. There it comes. All right, what I'm gonna do, put both cans over here. I've got half a cup of milk. I'm gonna just pour it into one can. Just gonna use a spoon, slosh that around and get all that excess soup out. We'll pour it into another can so we can get that out. And then we're going to add it to our mixing bowl. Bring that back over. We're gonna take a stick of butter, which is half a cup. I'm going to take it out of the wrapper, place it into a measuring cup that's safe for the microwave, melt this and then we'll add it. There we go. We're gonna add some cracked black pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt because the cans of soup have plenty of salt and also I use salted butter. We're going to go in with a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I'm going to place some onion powder in and paprika. Now these were all a quarter of a teaspoon. Get your whisk, blend this together. It smells good in there. All right, we're going to bring our crock pot over. Since I'm using a stuffing mix in my crock pot, I am going to be spraying the inside of the slow cooker with some nonstick cooking spray. That way our stuffing doesn't stick in there. Let's go ahead and put this into the bottom of our crock pot. Oh, it smells good in there. I'm telling you, you don't need a holiday to make stuffing. We're gonna smooth it out. Let's talk about our chicken. I'm using three pretty large chicken breasts. What I like to do is tenderize my chicken before it goes into the crock pot, give it a lot of holes. That way the flavors can go inside of the chicken. It can make it really tender faster. So you can use a fork, 
and you can poke lots of holes into your chicken. I found a tool that you can use also if you don't want to use a fork, but if you don't have this tool, you can use a fork for sure. It's one of these meat tenderizers right here. Yeah, look at that. Flattens it out. All right, I'm washing my hands. And then I'll use the same fork. And what we're going to do is place the chicken into our crock pot on top of that stuffing mixture. There we go. Let's season our chicken. Salt. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika too. <laughs> That's all the paprika I have. That's sad. All right, let's go to the next step. We're going to lay deli ham all across our chicken because that's what chicken cordon bleu is stuffed with. Now this is the black forest ham and I just had it thinly sliced at the deli. We're going to place this on top of the chicken. The ham smells so good. Hope I don't steal a piece. I am right now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm good. You know if I'm doing a crock pot or slow cooker it's early in the morning. All right, we're going to finish this up. Just cover up your chicken. There we go. Boom. The next ingredient, Swiss cheese. This is baby Swiss cheese, and it's very thin also. We're going to lay this across the ham. All right, you can put as much cheese as you want in there. Look at that. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? Let me double up on the cheese. Cover it up. <laughs> Place your lid on. We're going to cook this on high for about four to five hours. You want to make sure your chicken is cooked through and nice and tender, so make sure you check that. You can also cook this on low between six to eight hours if you want to do that. I'll be back. Okay, this took me three and a half hours on high and it's completely done. I've already checked the chicken. It is nice and tender and cooked through. I'm going to let this sit for just a few minutes. But I'm going to cut through the chicken and the ham. There's our layers. All right, I'm going to take a bite for you all in one. The ham, the cheese, the stuffing mixture, the chicken, and all those seasonings. Here's my bite. Mmm. That is a delicious bite right there. Mmm. Mm -mm. All right, don't forget this came out of my second cookbook, Catherine's Plates, Making Home Cooking Easy. You can find my cookbooks on my recipe blog, catherinesplates.com. Go to the cookbook tab. All right, you guys, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you like the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Enjoy this one, you guys. I'll see y'all on the next episode.